Heather McDonald's a very funny comedian. She's hysterical. She is. Is she still doing a lot of stand-up? I don't see like her advertising dates. Let's ask her. I will. She's busy with her podcast. I know, but I do a podcast and I still do dates. Not as many. Not because of the podcast. Because of COVID. Maybe yeah. she stopped because of the... Hello. Heather. Heather. Yes. Howie Mandel. Howie here with Josh and my daughter, Jacqueline. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. I, I, I'm just happy to talk to you. I'm a fan. I was asking Josh, and he didn't know. Are you still doing a lot of stand-up? Yeah, I'm doing the Kravitz Center tonight. and Oh, no, tomorrow, Friday and Saturday in Palm Beach. The Kravitz Center in Palm Beach. And how do they go get tickets? Oh, thank you. They go to heathermcdonald.net. heathermcdonald.net. Why not go, dot com? Yeah. I don't think she needs you, Dad. I think her podcast is bigger no, than yours. No, I don't know. I might. Podcast <laughs> is bigger. You yeah. got a very uh, Bravo centric podcast. She probably hate. I think she's talked poorly about you. She's because talked of the poorly about me. Thing. I did yeah. see that. <laughs> yeah. she does. She you you weren't like you. you you weren't nice about me when the, with the Tom thing, but that's okay. I'm okay well, with that. Well, you know, it's like it's kind of like can't we just have one fucking thing? Like you, you like every guy is popping off on the the topics that I've talked about for nine years. Like, I'm not going to try to do a sports cast, you know? Can I tell you, it wasn't him. It was me. I'm a Bravo fanatic. No, I, it was good. It was juicy. I liked it. <laughs> Here's what it was. And I've said this so many times. Here's what it was. I don't, I didn't, uh, now I have, but I didn't watch the show, you know? And I, I was not even aware of the show. But I do have an employee here uh, whose husband is his manager oh, that's right he's in the band of the uh, the most extras yeah that's that, good no it's a good connection so then i said connection. you know when i was reading i was so the only the, actually the only thing i watch on bravo i love real estate mm -hmm. i love real estate yes. that's the only thing that i've watched there i'm not aware of any of the housewife shows i'm not aware of any of the vanderpump shows i'm not i mean i'm aware that they exist but i don't follow them and i don't know anything and i don't know and then in mainstream uh, the world, I started reading about Scandaval, which was so epically silly to me that like, yeah. why are they writing about somebody cheating on a Bravo show? Like, why is this on the, why is this on CNN? And I didn't right. understand. And then my daughter who is Bravo centric started explaining to me and I go, well, that's who Jason works for. And then I said to um, Jason, is there any way he'll come in if I promise not to, like, I don't know anything about the show and he can just, he's in the, he's in the news. Can, will he right. come in if you don't say anything? And, and Jason said, yeah, if you don't question him and you don't, you let him just say whatever he needs to say. And my daughter didn't want to speak to me. My daughter, what was the, I made you take off the sweatshirt. What, oh, send it to. Send it to Daryl. Daryl. Yeah, send it to Daryl. She was wearing that t-shirt that day and she explained to me what it was. I said, take it off. I don't want to be confrontational. And I right. just let him tell his story. I have never seen a backlash like I got from you and your people. You and your people, they are from you. <laughs> You and your people, it was like crazy. And what was great for me is my daughter, and then we watched every night till the end of the season. And it was so much fun watching every contradiction that was made on my show, you know? Yes, yes. But I didn't yeah, think that yeah, I would I mean, be- I think that was it. I think it was just you were a guy that didn't watch it. And so of course, just someone who doesn't watch it, they're like, um, doesn't everybody cheat on a show? And it was like, no, the reason it's so compelling is because, you know, it involved, it was more about the friendship of two women and the deception of a friend to another woman that I think made it such a topic of conversation. So you hear what you just said? That's incredibly articulate and wonderful and explains to me the question that I kept asking and getting kicked in the nuts for is I kept saying, why is this such a big deal? Which was interpreted like, it's no big deal. You could fuck anybody you want and it's no big deal. That's not what I was saying. I wanted to know that. So if I said to somebody like you, why is this such a big deal? Because you just explained to me, it hit a nerve that a lot of people have uh, been a subject of where it's a, I didn't know even that they were friends. Right. Even when he was sitting here, I had no idea. I didn't even, I was confused. I didn't know that Raquel and Rachel were the same person. I didn't know who right. Shay Shay is. Sheena, you still don't know who she is. Oh, Club Shay Shay. I, 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 I mix that up with the Cat Williams Club Shay Shay <laughs> debacle. Yeah, yeah. 
So that was it. And I got killed. I mean, killed even by you, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I don't... I, you know, I don't really care. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I do too responsible because I, I don't really care. And I was just basically like, I get it. How are you not going to take advantage of this interview? But I also got why people were annoyed because you didn't, because you weren't watching it. And there were so many people covering it. And, you know, so it was like the people that were covering it, like myself, it was like annoying. It's like, oh, exactly. I know. It's like all of a sudden I started to cover like a huge you know, sports thing. And I'm like, wait, isn't he on a basketball team? And they're like, no, he's on a football team. And I'm like, whatever. Like it would have been like that. So that's why I think there was a little no, bit. No, I of get, much. I get it now. But I got it that your daughter and I, I, you know, the connection was a good one. And how can you not take advantage of getting that, you know, the, his first interview, that was good. It, not only his first interview, but he was, you know, I, I don't know that it, now that I've got a little bit of uh, hi history as far as knowing what's going on, it's it's amazing to me that he he doesn't help himself. You can help yourself, you know, you can you can even bullshit yourself out of trouble. He, it's like when he opens his mouth, he digs that hole so much deeper than it needs to be dug. You haven't been watching. There's a redemption arc starting to happen on Vanderpump. So. People are liking him again? I think some. I or think do they feel split. bad for him? Maybe both. I don't know. Is he know. redeemed himself in your eyes, Heather? Probably not in her eyes. Um, no, but you know what? I did end up going to the Valley premiere at Jax's restaurant and he was there and I've known all these, these, um, these people, the cast members for years, they've all been on my show and stuff. And so then I, you know, he was like, hi. And I was like, Oh, hi. And we started to talk. And then someone took a photo of me and I'm like, Oh my God, this is what it's like when people go, look who took a photo with Harvey Weinstein. And I'm like, you know, I, just, I didn't even think about it. I just was like, here's the photo now floating. Like and I'm smiling. Like I always do. And I'm like, oh, now I, I got to get it. Like, I just happened to talk to him. And Did you, you, know, and did you said, get backlash um, for the picture? Yeah. So, yeah. So then, you know, and then he told me about where all of his shows were. And I'm like, yeah, the same people that were protesting and giving you one-star Yelp reviews of, you know, of Sandy and Schwartz are probably going to be in the front row of your, rest, of your show, your music show, in a month. Like, so I just think people... Nobody's really canceled, especially when it's something like this. And, uh, you know, so I do think he puts on a good show and I think people are just into it, you know. And um, and now, you know, and now she finally moved out. She has a house and she's, you know, doing her other thing. So who knows? Oh, she, she kind of did. The reunion is on fire. Like the reunion will be very shocking that's what I, I saw andy cohen saying it was amazing you know he said yeah do you follow along with all the other bravo shows or no josh josh is no, busy no. now he's what busy. Josh he's does, bored he says he's i'll be bored. a guest he says i'll be a guest on your podcast <laughs> and then he sits here texting doing business and real estate and calls other people yeah, so we can have my job for me yes so right. that's i was a guest he said booker he said a lot he shows up in person and books I'm guests booker. do you not follow any of this i wasn't even listening <laughs> I thought I thought I, I thought He's all bored. the real estate ones too. I like I like the Are we real, talking I about want, Scandal? What are we talking Beverly about? Beverly Hills. Everything. I can't wait for Josh's show to come back. Coming selling do, do, sunset. Do, do you think OC. Do you think Vanderpump Rules has legs now? After I feel that you know, just as an outsider again, I feel like it was from what I read. Also, it was circling the drain. Uh, Tom saved it with his inappropriateness and now they seem to be rehashing that and it looks like and just as again as somebody from the outside it looks like with the valley and all these other shows Vanderpump Villa and Vanderpump R Villa it feels like they're on their way out Hulu Fra oh Hulu Vanderpump Villa uh-huh yeah it's in France how can they do that how can Hulu take that do, does Bravo not own I think they're the partners name? oh yeah well what so what do you but think do you think there is probably some loop that Lisa Vanderpump had that like if the show like it probably should have it probably was like any show that's a spinoff in America or something was in her contract. And then she was like, oh, well, what if I go to France? Then I can go just like the Kardashians left E and go to Hulu and, and cut a better deal. That's what I think happened. And they probably were like, what? Who missed the call from Lisa? Like they probably don't even know what happened. No, but, but. do you think do you think Vanderpump Rules has a, another season or another couple of seasons? 
Um, yeah, but I really think what it is is that all the cast has such a history. I think they all are very out, very funny. Like they, they're funny, strong personalities. They say things in the moment. They're, they are authentic. Um, and the history of their relationships are so long. So I don't know how this reunion ends where it's really like, look, we didn't think that, you know, Tom and Ariana were ever going to film together again. And they did. So even if a reunion is horrible, like, yeah, they're going to show up at the pool party together, you know, it's three months from now because they have to. So who knows? But I think the key is. Are the ratings good this season? It with, huh? Are the ratings good this season? Yeah. I mean, I don't know, but I can tell from the buzz. Like I can tell when things get a lot of chatter, like I was on Lala's show um, Wednesday and it, and like at least 10 different Instagram accounts that I follow had cut clips from it. So that tells me people care. You know, there's other shows that have juicy stuff happening too, like Potomac where this woman, you know, they just, they just revealed that like one of her kids, the husband doesn't think it's his. And she's like, yeah, I don't think it is. And like that show isn't getting, the chatter that like Vanderpump gets. And I don't know why. So yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's not just about the scandal. I think it's just about the people that you're invested in. And if you're, unless it, it, that kid turns out to be Tom, got new people and they were smart with that <laughs> peacock because when the scan of all things was exploding, they just put every, uh, every season on peacock. So people started like, you know, maybe you or whatever that didn't really know would go and go back and watch it all. And those ones are really good. Like I'm, I'm always jealous of when someone's like, I just started Beverly Real Housewives of Beverly Hills from 2008. You're like, oh, that's like such a golden era. Like how fun to watch it for the first time and not know what was what's going to happen. I see. Well, you are well versed. You are. You deserve all the Thank success you. you're getting in your podcast. I, I, will, I want you know one day hope to teach a class at USC on all of this. On what? So, on on Bravo, uh, Bravo or on, or on, Bravo on all this? Just being like a pop culture reality show expert, you know? Like I don't know. I'm just I'm just secreting it. I'm just manifesting that that'll happen. Like in like like eight or ten years. I'd they like have Taylor that. Swift classes and stuff like that. I did a class, the history of rock and roll, and I did a Beatles, a Beatles class in, in college. No, yeah. not in Montclair. In an actual school. <laughs> actual school <laughs> DeVry in college DeVry. no uh, DeVry. Uh, yeah. yes not when I went to UCLA but UC Santa Cruz nice. had those schools UC had those she's a banana slug alright alright well thank you oh, she's, she's tired she's already. done she's, she's done, done with us alright <laughs> thank you for your time and, um, I'm, actually, I'm actually sitting in the backyard of a beautiful home of mm -hmm. Rachel Ucatel. how do we say it Ucatel. I always say her name wrong Rachel Ucatel. Wow. I know that name. Who is that? She has I know, a great podcast. I know, I know her. Misunderstood. I know she interviews hi, people, yes. much like herself, that might have been misunderstood. She misunderstood. She came the, on what? my show years ago, and we became friends, and she made the move to Palm Beach, and we are just like, we played pickleball. My son is laying out by the sun. We are going to, she has a putting green. We are just chilling. She want to so. sell it? I should get back to that. Uh, but yeah, that's Josh wants to sell how it. Fun it is. What we'll a small say hi. world, right? Yeah. I have met her before. Does she remember meeting me? Did she have anything to do? Did she used to, uh, w did she work at Tau in uh, hi. Vegas? Hi there. Hi. Is that Rachel? It is. It's Rachel. Didn't hi. I meet you? Didn't, w w weren't you uh, working with the people at Tau at one time? Yes. I yeah. did meet you at Tau at one time for sure. I didn't know if you remember. I yeah, remembered. I just sure. told you. I remember you. Oh, you're sweet. Well, it's funny because we were laughing when we heard that you guys were going to call and speak to Kathy because I know that Spencer was on your show recently and, yeah. and told you a story about me. Yes. And I DM'd Spencer after because it's funny. I've never met Spencer and I've never met, who was the guy he said I had a relationship with? David Foster. David Foster. Mm. So he said I said to you, I I have a Rachel Yucatel story. Uh, he, something about how he was helping David get out of a situation with me because I was squ squatting at David Foster's house, <laughs> which I found to be hysterical because I was like, Spencer, we've never met and I don't even know David Foster. <laughs> so, which I thought was crazy. And then I woke up this morning and saw that some reality website 
says, Rachel Yucatel admits to having an affair with David Foster. And I was like, this is crazy. Look at what we so, started. Anyway, the drama right. we started. And I'm just a booker. Look what I, yeah. look what I bring to the <laughs> table. <laughs> Went from nobody to everybody. But it was so funny because Spencer's now going to come on my podcast. And we were like, we've got to get to the bottom of this. Like, it, was it some girl that was impersonating me? Or did wow. David get it wrong? Do you or live in Spencer Florida now? Bad memory. So it, it was... I mean, I'm not upset by it, but, you know, it's not great for my reputation. No. <laughs> I hear things like this. Do you live in Florida now? I do. I live in Palm Beach, yes. Okay. Wow. Ooh, Beautiful place. We love Palm Beach. Yeah. Hi, and Rachel, ha- this is Josh Flagg. Josh Flagg. He <laughs> wants to know Hi, more Josh about Flagg. your property. Josh Flagg, I don't know if you remember me, but um, when I had a little stint dating um, our friend Matt Altman... Um, you came into my nightclub, um, and and uh, I I think we did like a there was an evening where you guys were all in New York doing uh, press for your one of your first shows or something. Oh so my god! Very long time ago. Which but. nightclub? Um, you know it's funny because I don't remember what nightclub I've worked at so many, but it was one in New York. Um, it was called Foster's, Street. David Foster's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she just wouldn't leave. <laughs> I actually had Jennifer anyway. Linda Thompson the other night. She was Yeah, it might have been one she? oak or something. Yes. But anyway. She was his, her, his wife. Yeah. You know what she's most famous for? She stripped Elvis. She was his girlfriend when he died. And I know another woman who stripped Elvis, Carol Connors. I don't know her. She wrote the Rocky theme song. You didn't stoop Elvis, did you? They're talking about Elvis. Um, they're talking okay, about well, Elvis. We're gonna go they're now. Talking about, okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Love you, bye. 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 So, so, by the way, she Dad. She is the girl. She, I know her, and she's the girl that broke the Tiger Woods. Uh, oh, yeah. that's why I know the name. Right? Yes. Is that what you're reading? No, I'm re- Mom's been talking to everyone in the chat. Oh, okay. Mom's Mom? in there. Mom. <laughs> Mom. That's where I know the name. <laughs> yeah. So did she date Tiger Woods? Um, I, I know that... I don't know how many holes he played, <laughs> but she was, she was one of the 18. <laughs> But I think that uh, she she broke. I mean, if you look it up, isn't that the first What's one? What's her that name? Rachel Yucatel. Oh, yeah. I know her. Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. Right, Tiger, Tiger Woods. Woods. Rachel Yucatel. I think you're right. I know I'm right. Oh yeah. Yes. Boy, we've had a good array of guests on today. I'm a celebrity booker. Like you it, without are. even trying. Literally. She's very pretty. Who signed her own NDA with Woods just days after their affair was revealed in 2009? Yeah. Oh, you know who's calling now. 